Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Well, here we are day two of the season and we've got a tropical depression it was named yesterday. It was at Invest 91 that we were talking about. And as you look at the satellite, the radar combined, you, you can really see where this is. It's small and is actually not a well-defined system either because there's a lot of dry air and wind shear on this western and southern side of the storm. So the center it's located right in here, so really all the convection is all sitting on one side of the storm. But what we do have over the storm, it's fairly intense. I mean, there's quite a bit of vigorous convection going on with this, but this is just going to continue to slowly drift down to the south. But it is adding a little bit more moisture over the state over the next day or so. And so we'll continue to see our rain chances over Florida running a bit higher. Water vapor imagery really starts to reveal some of those issues with the storm. You're seeing this dry air on the southern side of the storm. Now remember, it is also drifting in that direction, so it's moving into that dry air. So it's just kind of working its way into it, which that poses a problem for the storm. And also you can tell you can see these winds kind of coming around here. There is a lot of stronger wind shear that is working its way around this system as well. You see those stronger winds in the atmosphere over Texas, and then those just kind of roll down into the southern Gulf of Mexico and wrapping around this system. So yesterday it was in this area, just this little hole where it had lighter winds. Now you're starting to notice some stronger winds developing over this and especially down to the south. So as this continues to work its way to the south, what it's really doing is it's moving into an environment that is less favorable for any sort of development. So right now, it's still just a tropical depression with winds of 35 miles an hour. It is moving to the south at five miles an hour. Hurricane reconnaissance planes, they've been flying in the system this morning and they're not finding any evidence of it strengthening anymore. It's still this very lopsided storm with the center somewhat exposed, but they also say, and, and it's certainly possible because we could see a little bit more development with this before that strong wind shear in the dry air really takes hold. But if anything's going to happen, if this is going to become a named system, a tropical storm, which by the way, next name, first name on the list is Arlene, uh, it really has to happen probably today because after today it moves into an environment that just isn't going to be conducive and it would just continue to work its way uh, down to the south and by tomorrow tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening this system pretty much just dissipates with that dry air and the wind shear just kind of shearing this system apart and you really can see that in the various computer models now when you look at the models all the combined together you have that general idea going down to the south and then you see this big swoop on towards the east and really at that point that is not really much of a tropical system that is more just the remnants being shoved off into the Atlantic so don't worry about that and think hey we've got a system that'll be working its way over South Florida potentially just isn't going to happen with this it will just be the remnants of it as it goes down on towards the east so you watch those winds and the thing that you notice on top of it just pulling those winds away from us as we go through the next day or so they just overall they weaken quite a bit so really this is not much of an issue it just helps to enhance our rain chances today into tomorrow across florida but other than that, it is not going to do much. Fox model showing basically that same idea. You see a better chance of some storms around for today. But notice how as it moves down across the southern Gulf of Mexico on that western tip of Cuba, and then eventually starts to work its way on towards the east, it's really hard to pick up exactly where it is because of that dry air and the wind shear. It just really tends to limit the moisture with this system as we head through the weekend. But of course, we will continue to watch it other than this. There's nothing else going on in the tropics. We'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.